you you joined Horace when you were a relatively young man. How do you think Horace's music, the simplicity of it, the directness, uh, influenced your development uh, as as a musician and uh, as a uh, improviser? Well, I think it had a profound influence. First of all, I just want to say it's really interesting to hear all these bass perspectives. From my perspective, that was really the hardest chair in the band because Horace, uh, uh, a lot of his tunes had locked in bass parts. So I know it wasn't an easy gig, and Horace wanted uh, didn't give the bass players that much freedom on a lot of tunes, nor did he... Uh, the horn players. He really knew what he wanted from each of his musicians, and he would, uh, to me anyway, uh, he would, uh, and to Benny, I remember, and my brother for that matter, would would lecture us on uh, what, how he wanted us to play on any particular tune. We were given more leeway on some of the uh, more out tunes, but on the uh, funky tunes, he didn't want a lot of sixteenth notes. He wanted us to play a good funky solo, have the girls <laughs> snapping their fingers. He'd give us a lecture every night about that. And if we varied too much from that uh, perspective, he would uh, have something to say at the end of the night. <laughs> so that in, it, in itself was an influence. But uh, just the way he presented himself as a band leader, it was undeniably an influence, I'm sure, uh, for all of us. Because he, uh, he didn't have to say much to be a strong band leader. Uh, just the uh, fact that he played 95% of the music we played were, were his own compositions was an influence on me. Uh, 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 just that aspect that I started to get in my head that I should start writing my own music that I could perform in front of people. Even just that little thing in itself was a revelation. Unlike a lot of other bands he played, pretty much his own tunes, and all his travels were somehow translated, uh, Tokyo Blues, uh, et cetera, et cetera, were all translated into music. So that also was an influence, how he uh, translated his uh, life's experiences all became a song. Uh, so that was an undeniable influence. Also, his tunes uh, uh, came from a lot of different sources. There was some bebop, there was some gospel, there was some uh, calypso, there was this and that all mixed into a wonderful uh, gumbo. I thought that was really interesting. So that had an influence. And uh, he also had a way with matching beautiful, simple melodies to, to kind of more sophisticated chords. So there was always, even in the simpler tunes, there was always a great uh, harmonic catch. And they all had the Horace Silver stamp. Every tune you could pick out immediately was a Horace Silver tune. So those are just, uh, in a nutshell, a, a few of the uh, influences he had on not only me, but I'm sure anybody who played with him. 